this is our mobile robot line that, that NEF represents. This is uh, MIR, Mobile Industrial Robots. They're the <laughs> sister company to U Universal Robots owned by the same parent company. And this has been a little longer time to figure out for us. We've had this line for about five years, and, and, and I think we in the industry are really starting to figure out where these belong. But I'm sure people on this uh, call have fork truck drivers in their facilities, and they have um, people pushing carts around. And I'm going to address carts first and fork truck second. But if you got people pushing carts around, I was a co-op at Guardian Glass. I knew where to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where to hide instead of that. Right. And I'm, maybe I'm being mean, but you know, let's keep those people at the machine being productive, and let the, the robot come and pick up the part or bring out the the next the next piece of you know the next raw material so that's an easy one we've we've that's that's probably two-thirds of our projects these days fork trucks are the other thing we're not going to replace your fork trucks back in your warehouse you know we're not going to load trucks we're not going to load wrappers but what we can do is get your fork trucks out of your facilities because fork truck accidents are the number one accident in the united states right now maybe you've got your operators loading the pallet with the finished goods the robot comes in picks it up drives it out to the warehouse, drops it on another, you know, another platform. And then the then the fork truck drivers stay in the warehouse and they can load the truck or do whatever. They use LIDAR and camera systems. So you walk around your facility, it's taking images both with a 2D camera mm -hmm. and with laser sensors and picking up on key components in your facility. As it drives around your facility, put it in teach mode, it creates a map. And so, no, yeah, yeah no, so it yeah. creates a map of your floor, so it has all of your aisles documented and whatnot, and that's the software, right? You use that map as your software. There are no more lines in the in the ground that it has to follow, uh, so you can put the points on the map where you want it to go and tell it what action you want it to do when it gets to that point. It's kind of like a Google Google map, and if something in your environment changes over time, you can reteach it. If somebody does leave a pallet in its way, it's going to come up to that and recalculate to go around set object and then the next time it comes back through that path it's going to take its preferred path again 